guys, welcome to Fishing Vibes. Today I'm going to show you my go-to stonefly nymph for catching steelhead and trout. But first a quick update, this is probably going to be one of the last fly tying videos I make for a while. Because it's finally spring and I'm going to be out fishing a lot more. Which means I'm going to be posting more fishing videos. And those videos take a lot longer to edit than these ones. So unless you guys really want the fly tying, this is probably going to be one of the last ones. Besides maybe one or two thrown in the mix. But anyways, I've got my steelhead nymph box here. It's full of mostly stoneflies. I love using stoneflies when the water is clear and the fish are a bit more pressured. I've got a couple different patterns here, but i found that the most successful one is actually the most simple to tie. It's just a great looking fly in the water, it sinks super fast. I've caught a lot of steelhead on it in a lot of different rivers. So now I'm going to show you how to tie this super effective steelhead fly. So all you're going to need to make this fly is some 3XL streamer hooks, anything from 12 to 8 works good some tungsten bead heads, some flashback material, some ice dub, some peacock curl, some turkey biots, and some thick wire. So the first thing you're going to want to do is tie in the wire right behind the bead. This will help hold the bead in place and it will also help maintain the profile of the fly. Then before you tie in the tails, you're going to want to tie in just a small ball of dubbing just to help keep the tails separate. That was a little bit big there, but it doesn't matter too much. You won't be able to see it. So then for the biot tails, you'll notice there's a bit of curve to them. You want the curve facing outwards to kind of give the tails a flared appearance. Same with the second biot. At this point you'll tie in two peacock curls. You're going to wrap these forward just with the wire. Actually, since this is a smaller size, I'll do these first. Just to right about there. Wrap right over them. Cut them, then wrap the wire right over top. Tie it down right up there. Cut the wire. And at this point I usually tie in a piece of flashback material. Back to right about there. And then right in front of that I'm going to put in two biot legs. One on each side and they should flare out like so when you tighten down on them. If they don't flare out that well like this one, you can wrap under and kind of flare it out that way. And 
And then I'll just take a bunch of dubbing and do a couple wraps in front of these to put some space between these legs and the next legs. About that much is plenty. And I'll just do the same thing with the legs. That one didn't really flare, so I'm going to have to wrap behind it once or twice. There we go. Now I try to get three sets of legs to make it realistic. The fish probably wouldn't notice if you only got two. You may as well. There we go. So these legs aren't super neat, as you can see, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I also tied them a bit big. Uh, I, normally I wouldn't tie them this big, but I wanted to make sure you guys could see. So normally I'd tie them a bit smaller to make it more realistic. Actually, I'm gonna add a bit more dubbing just to make the body look a bit bigger. Then I'm gonna pull this flash back right over the top of everything tie it down right behind the bead and I like to just fold it back it gives a little bit of extra flash you can't really even tell it's there so now I'll just whip finish it And that's all there is to it. This is a really simple stonefly imitation. It's not super imitative, it's more just suggestive. But you don't need a super fancy, ultra realistic fly to catch fish all times. And steelhead especially don't really require that fancy of a fly. It's much faster to tie one like this. There it is, the finished stonefly. The legs aren't perfect, but they don't have to be to catch fish.